Hello everyone and welcome to my laptop. Um, well, basically, welcome to my gaming channel, just gaming with you. And today we're just gonna be going through a little tour of my laptop, what uh, what I have on my laptop, and I'm just gonna be going through some things what I'm gonna be doing on my laptop, and you know, for my gaming channel because I'm gonna be doing some stuff on my laptop and then uploading to my gaming channel. So, um, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get into is my wallpaper. If you ever heard of the game called Life is Strange Before the Storm, or Life is Strange in general, like Life is Strange 2 or Life is Strange 1, basically the game is a, it's basically a, a choice game. It, everything that uh, impacts around you and stuff, you can make choices, but certain choices will have consequences to it. You know, so, yeah. Um, if you Like I said, if you never heard of the game, played it you can go watch some trailers on youtube about it or gameplays of other people playing it and if you're interested you can buy the demo or not buy the demo but buy the full version or you can just download the demo and see if you like it so far and if you want to play the game more then you can buy the full version for it i think on steam i think it's probably like 19 dollars. i think it is i'm not too for sure about that um i have another picture like this on my lock screen it's not just like this, but um, it's two it's two characters from the game named Chloe and Rachel. Um, I like both of them; they're really cool, especially Chloe. Um, and this is for the people who knows who I'm talking about and knows the game. Chloe is a B A bad A S S S. She is really cocky. Um, <laughs> um, she just she's bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about, like, a bad B way. You know what I'm saying? Like, a want to be with, but I'm, like, bad. Like, like full of confidence and stuff. And that's what I like mostly about Chloe and stuff. And also Rachel. Um, Rachel, she got some bad in her, too. Um, a lot of, totally a lot of confidence and stuff. And uh, humongously uh, popular in the game at her school, uh, Blackwell High School. I think, it's a, I think it's a mixture of high school and college. I'm not... I'm not too for sure because they got dorms there, um, <laughs> so I'm like kind of confused. You know, I don't even know if that's like a, a high school slash college. It's probably a college for the most part. But what kind of what what kind of led me into that direction of confusion is Chloe was 16 when she when she was in Blackwell at that when she was at Blackwell, and they had dorms. So, I think it's kind of like a, a, a combination of a, a high school and a college. I think I'm not too sure. Don't pinpoint me on that one. But, but yeah, uh, the lock screen. Um, Chloe, Rachel, Chloe, sticking up her middle finger. Um, Rachel looking normal as usual as on game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to like, go into for. I'm gonna try to go on YouTube and see. If, well, I'm not gonna play no audio because I don't want to get copyright strike. Striked. I'm not trying to have. I could just go on Instagram and see if it'll capture the audio like that. And if it doesn't, I'll get. I'll try to capture like at least five seconds of the video and then I'll just exit out of the Instagram. This is my Instagram. If you wanna go follow me, which is Kayla Wright two four zero. Um, somebody liked in my posts. I'm just gonna go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, families, friends liking my picture. It'd be the cousin that can't fight. That'd be on the post talking about, do I need to pull up? Nah, baby, you stay home. Listen, I don't get it. Uh, I'm only 17. <laughs> um, all right, right, right. The video, okay. Now I'm going to be going through some posts and stuff that I have on here, but first let's just get to the audio part and see if that works when I play videos and stuff. Um, I think that was more than five seconds. Okay, let's try this one. <laughs> I 
I know you guys are probably thinking what kind of stuff I'm, I saved on Instagram. This is pretty funny. The cat's like, get the f out of my face. Okay. Alright, we can go ahead and go to my Instagram post. So, this is one of the recent posts that I've uploaded uh, yesterday. Um, but it says May 5th, which that's the day that I took the picture. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to go through all my posts. I'm just going to go through some. And then maybe on the next video, I can go through the rest. Um, this is the post of me having my laptop fixed. So before I even um, did this recording, before I even did any of this, downloaded apps, downloaded Instagram on here and everything. My laptop had a freaking virus on there. I'm not too for sure it was a virus, but I'm pretty sure it was because every time I had logged into my laptop, it would glitch, it would freeze up, it would stop. Some most applications would stop working, and it was just kind of irritating. And it was just getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I didn't want to turn on the laptop anymore. So, a couple of months, I haven't been using my laptop. I started using my laptop again about a week ago. That's when I started using my laptop a week or two ago. I started using it, but my laptop was just messed up. So what I did, um, that's when I started. Uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can do something with my laptop. And uh, so what I did was I reset my laptop. I deleted most of the apps that were on there before I reset it. I didn't delete my files because. I don't know, I think I have some important files on here. I didn't really care if I reset it because I didn't use this laptop for, for long. I only had this laptop for like months, it was no years or anything. I had this laptop for months and stuff. I got it last year, so um, yeah, so I didn't really have like a whole, I didn't have like a lot of files on here. Most of the files that I had on here was just junk files. and stuff and I didn't really care about it. I was just messing around, playing around, didn't know what the heck I was doing. You know, um, most of the files was from GTA because at the time I was trying to uh, install or yeah, install or download GTA 5 off the internet and stuff, you know, unknown sources and stuff and I think that's what caused the virus downloading stuff from um, unrecognizable sources and stuff and that's I think that's what caused it. But I think it also got like that. I think because the protection warranty was expired. Yes, protection warranty can expire and it can stop um, keeping your everything on here safe. Um, if you want to keep it safe again, you have to either renew it or get another new warranty protection or whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is just a little saying got the laptop working again and this is when I was uploading or not uploading but downloading um life is strange I think it was after the storm yeah or I think it was life is strange too but um yeah my other post this post this was this is dashy if anybody knows dashy and watches this video y'all know Y'all will know exactly who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about. So I actually ordered this about a week and a half ago on May May 11th. I ordered this. This was forty eight dollar or forty eight dollars. Um, the shipping was I think seventeen dollars, which was sixty six dollars total. And I know you guys are probably wondering why would you pay so much money. You know, for a little, you know, doll like this and stuff. This isn't just a doll. I got this doll from a famous YouTuber store. You know, and he tags a lot. And this is not just a small plush toy. This is a big A dashy plush toy. And I think it comes with three separate plush toys. I think it comes with a small one, a medium one, and this one, which is the largest one. Um, this is a pre-order one. I still, my stuff still didn't ship yet. It's been over a week and a half, and my stuff still didn't ship. I actually wrote a complaint to um, to the um, to the people that manages the store, saying that uh, if I don't get if my stuff does not be shipped 
within three days or something like that, they're going to have to refund my money back because I spent a lot of money on this. I spent a lot of money and it was worth it because, you know, I never ordered something from a famous YouTuber store. I never did that ever in my life. Never, ever, ever. And, you know, and I kind of feel proud and happy about that because I actually had the money to afford this and buy this. And I'd be like, I bought this from Dashi XP store, you know, and this was a lot of money, you know, da 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 da. So it was worth buying it, but I, I just wanted it to be shipped. You know, and before, uh, after I, you know, placed the order and stuff and I ordered it, it sent me a confirmation telling me, oh, this is a pre-order item. We'll let you know when more comes in and then we're going to ship out your stuff. I'm like thinking, so y'all didn't have it like there. So you got to wait for somebody to bring this in and then you can ship it. It's been over a week and a half and like, it's ridiculous, but I'm not even going to get, get into all that. I'm not going to do that. You know, that's. Something I'm just going to save later or something like that. Um, I said, just ordered it yesterday. Was it worth it? Uh, duh, of course. I love Dash XP. The shipping was $17, so the total was $66. And this is my friend, Kaish, uh, Kaish the Wolf. He's actually He actually goes to my school, High School of the Arts. Um, and I'm a senior. <laughs> um, I'm actually pretty, pretty, pretty proud that I'm a senior. Um, it just felt like yesterday I was just a freshman. You know, I'm really, really proud of that. I'm, I'm really, really proud that I made it this far. You know, going to my favorite high school, going to a high school that that matches my hobby, which I do visual arts there. I'm a visual artist at that school. And you can change your major if you want to. You can be a vocalist, uh, an actor, go in the job club. But I stick to drawing because that's what I'm mostly good at. Um, I kind of switched from doing, like, original drawings, like anime stuff, to, like, graffiti things and all that kind of stuff, and you know, so yeah, kind of what he was like, Dachi, Dachi, and you know, and other people liked it too. So, and this is the job sim uh, right here, job similar sim simulator. I was playing this game, I think, about three weeks, three or four weeks ago, on my brother's PS4. I was actually doing a video game, a video gaming video for my channel. And I really like the song. If you know Job Simulator and you played it before, when um, when I go to that restaurant and the two couples, the dude wanted to propose to his uh, fiance or whatever, or about to be fiance, y'all would know what I'm talking about. He's like, I, I, emotion, you, like, I like that song. Instead of just saying love, I be like, I emotion. You so you can be like angry, you can be mad, sad, happy, you know, love. Be like emotion, you know, all that kind of stuff. I want to put a ring. If you can hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but if you can, then. <laughs> and this is a mail that I got from my teacher. Her name is Miss Radloff. Um, Radloff. Okay. Sorry, Miss Radloff, if you're watching this video. Um, she actually sent me this, um, saying, "How am I doing during the quarantine and stuff? You know, are you still doing drawings, etc." And, you know, and I really appreciate that. I really, 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 really appreciate that. And uh, I miss her. I do. And I was like, thanks, Miss Rat, for the letter and stuff. I really appreciate that. And you know, I, I miss going to my school. I miss being miss miss uh, talking to my friends and stuff at school and hanging out. Um, but I don't enjoy going back to school or like going back to school. It's doing work. You know, all the, all the stuff there, visual arts, art things. The only thing I don't like there is work. Homework. That's the only thing that I do not like. Unless it's like a fun activity that you can do, then that's different. But like I'm talking about work, like math, hit, well, history. I kind of like because I'm I'm really interested in history, so I, I guess that don't count. But I'm like talking about math, English, other different stuff. Gym. I don't like gym. Gym is uh, I don't like gym. I don't I don't really like that. Uh. You know, as you can see, I'm a big person, 
and you know and then when you're running you know you you're everything jiggles around and stuff and you know and i don't want people to see that you know it's just kind of embarrassing to me i i never liked the gym since middle school maybe in elementary school i didn't really care because i was like smaller you know and not stuff was jiggling around but you know as i got older and i got a little bigger you know stuff are just jiggling around and stuff and all that kind of stuff and sophomore year uh I was doing dance because we actually got a dance creative uh, creative movement dance there and I was doing dance and stuff there uh that was kind of like a replacement you know for not being in gym and stuff like they told me you know we're gonna change your schedule we're gonna uh put you in this class because this is still getting physical act physical you know physical um exercise and stuff so you know I, I wasn't Cause I wasn't really good at dancing, but at least it was, you know, physical education, you know, but, you know, people watching. Because when I went in there and we started dancing, a lot of people was just sitting out. And I did not like that at all. Like, because you're dancing, people watching you. We wasn't just dancing. We was also doing exercises, too, on the floor. You know, sit-ups, all different types of stuff. And, you know, it'd be people sitting on the sidelines just watching you doing exercise. And they just staring at you. And that's just kind of freaking embarrassing. I do not like that. And, you know, at the end of the semesters, all the semesters and stuff. And, you know, going on summer vacation. I kind of got lazy with doing the program. And, you know, but I still pass, of course. But I just kind of been a little lazy. The teacher, she was cocky. She was really, really cocky and and also I have a lot of confidence and stuff as well but you know I you know she would always get on me and stuff you know when I don't do or participate in the in the activity I usually sit on the sidelines or go to sleep on the sidelines have my coat or whatever jacket over me over my head and just sleep and you know and you know she don't be doing it she don't say nothing but you know, as soon as she sees me or walks up to me, she would say, I, I know you was over there sleeping. It's the while you have your jacket and everything all over you and that. And I, I don't know. But yeah, I was like, thank you again, LOL. <laughs> I had to repost this because my address was showing. I wanted to cross that out first. So yeah, I, you know, I had posted this. At first, I posted this for my story, but I deleted that and I reposted it. Because, like I said, my address was showing and I don't want people to come to my address, you know, <laughs> you know, I, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I think one person saw my address. I think one person did, but that's probably about it. And they from a whole different other country. But, um, I had to delete that, you know, before other people saw it. <sighs> but, um, yeah, I'm not going to go like that and as you can see right here the game I uploaded um life is strange this is the bonus edition you know before the song is the bonus uh bonus edition to see you know because Chloe and Max Max moved to Seattle and Chloe was still staying in um what's that place called oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot Give me, give me a second, please. Give me a second. Arcadia Bay. Yes. Chloe was still staying in Arcadia Bay. Max moved to Seattle. And, uh, you know, as soon as you play the game, Life is Strange Before a Storm, it will show that Chloe was standing in the middle of the train tracks, you know, looking like she wants to commit suicide and get hit by a train. You know, that's what first. But after you beat the game, you unlock the bonus edition to see what happened what was it like before all that had happened before the train before that what chloe and max was you know before they separated and you know and i uploaded this and it was kind of sad you know because chloe dad died you know and you know max was there with her you know it was just really heartbreaking and it was just really really heartbreaking at, at least to me you know because your mom walks in the door, you know, just giving you giving you that look, the look of I don't know what look, but I don't really know what look. 
<clears throat> but before we even click, before I click this, I'm gonna read what I had commented or said. If you ever watched or played Life is Strange, this was one of the saddest scenes ever. It makes you realize that tomorrow is not promised to nobody. Your life could be taken in flash in the flash. Life, life, uh, live life to the fullest and love your loved ones until death does y'all apart. You shall always love your parents. You shall always be there as a family. You know because nobody doesn't know when their times up. Your time can be up in a second or a minute or hours you gotta appreciate like you gotta you gotta take advantage of every piece of moment in life don't be lazy don't just and I, I'm not I'm and I do that sometimes sometimes I get lazy sometimes and you know a lot of time goes by and I you know sometimes I'll be thinking you know what are you doing Kayla you know get up you know, do something with your life. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm 17. I'm still young. You know, I don't have a job yet. I don't, you know, I don't work yet. So it's not like I can just go out there and, you know, work, buy stuff, get a house. It's, you know, I, it's not like I can do that. You know, especially during hard times with quarantine and everything. You know, it's not like I can do all that. You know, but I'm talking about within the house. You know, you got to take, take advantage of every pre precious moment. When you're in the house, you know, spend time with family, do things, tell each other that you love each other and stuff. And not just with loved ones, but also with, with partners and wives and husbands and stuff and everything. You know, take the time and say, I love you. I appreciate you for being here. You know, because like I said, you never know when your time is up. So please appreciate life. Because tomorrow is not promised to nobody. Nobody. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Black flies on the window sill. We are, we are, we are the moon. Winter stole, summer's thrill. And the river's cracked and cold See the sky is no man's land A dark and plumed estate Hope there needs a humble hand Not a fox found in your play So yeah, that that was Chloe, Chloe's best friend Max Before Max moved to Seattle And this is my, my my boy Ko right here. He's a Japanese rapper. I'm not gonna really call him as a rapper, you know, because he like he said himself, he's not an he's not a rapper. He's I don't know. He's just a type of person. I don't know. He just says he's not a rapper. But you know, I've been listening to Ko for the past two years. I think ever since two, 2017, I've listened to him, and he's a really dope rapper. Um. He doesn't have a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff, um, either because um, it doesn't allow certain videos on YouTube in this country. Maybe in other country like Asia or something like that. Yeah, but if you want to get like videos or something like that, um, I think you gotta buy them. But he does got some videos on YouTube. It's just it's not a whole lot, and you know. But he does got some really cool. You know videos still a favorite Japanese rapper in Japan even though he rarely posts music videos on his channel and You know, yeah And this was me um Doing a video for Instagram I was sitting there, you know because I was talking about how when I upload something as my story like a picture or a question a lot of people view it like sometimes it'd be like more than 15 viewers who view my story but when i go live and i and after i'm done doing live i upload it to as my story and hours go by i'm telling like not not two hours i'm talking about 15 hours two three hours go by nobody views it 
it, it don't be one, not even one person or two people who view my life or my story. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, it was just kind of confusing because how, how do, how did I get 15 people to view my, my post, my picture or whatever on my story, I get 15 people viewing it. But when it comes to doing a live video and I post that's my story, nobody within two hours, it still will be nobody who views it. And not only two hours, but also like 15 hours later, it don't be nobody Still, still nobody. Next day, nobody still view it, and I just, I was angry and upset about that because I, I did not understand that. Like, like I was like, what the heck is going on here? You know? And I had, and I had, uh, I had said, um, uh, hold on, let me go up. I had said, how come every time I post a video or picture on my story, and twelve or thirteen people watch it within eight hours? But when it comes to comes to me doing a live video and posting that's my story, nobody watch it. Watch it. Maybe I should stop posting pics and videos on my story. Matter of fact, maybe I should stop posting pics and videos on my Instagram altogether. This isn't anything new. It's been happening for a while now. And I'm, I'm not mad or anything, but I'm just confused and frustrated about that. This probably going to be my last posting on my Instagram and my story until I finish high school. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um... Yeah, and it is true. This has been going on for a while. This is nothing new. I just kind of dealt with it, but it, it was just kind of becoming tiring to me. It was just kind of becoming irritating, you know, and it, it was just irritating. Like, extremely, extremely irritating. Like, I... That's why I don't do a lot of live videos on my on my Instagram because of that reasoning. And, and yeah, I did stop posting stuff on my Instagram for a, a little bit, but I'm not... not a long, long time. Cause I had Instagram for two years since 2017, but it's not like I just I can just stop because if I stop, I lose followers and you know. And uh, my best friend, uh, torture. Um, he's my one of my best friends that goes to my school too. He doesn't go there no more. He, um, I'm not gonna say. I'm just gonna say move. To Chicago, lived with his mom. And this is the other father word that follows me, and I follow him back. He followed me for a little while now. Um, crate holder, and he, you know, he, I, I like him. He also a voice. Jesus Christ. He he also he's also an uh, artist too. I seen his posts, and he has some amazing drawings and art and stuff, and it's just amazing. And you know, I seen his two daughters. I think his name, I think their name is Kayla, and I, I forgot the other one's name, but it's just kind of surprising because that's my name, Kayla, and he has a daughter named Kayla as well. <laughs> so, but um, he said, don't worry about what other people think or care about yourself or care about yourself. Keep being you and keep on shining and succeeding and keep on moving up to the top. Let your haters be your motivation. And he's, he is very right. You know, and I, that's what I like about him, and that's why I still follow him. You know, you gotta let your haters be your motivation, not the other way around. Don't let your motivation be your haters, if that makes sense. Don't let your motivation. Okay, yeah, that didn't, that didn't make no sense. Haters be your motivation. Don't let the haters bring you down. Don't. Haters are supposed to bring you up because people hate. Because they want to be you. They want to do things like you do. And that's the only reason why people hate. Let that be a motivation. Let that be that, oh, that person wants to be me. So that's why they hate. And that's why they're jealous. Because they want the things that I have. Um, but this wasn't about nobody hating. I'm not. It, it's the fact that, it, it, like I said, it does not have nobody. It does not have nothing to do with no, uh, people hating on me. It does not have nothing to do with that at all. It's just that it's just kind of weird, you know, people will view my story, my post, my pic posts on my story. But when it comes to my live video and I post it as my story, nobody watches that. And I don't think it's hate. I don't think that, that, that that's the case at all. It's just that I don't know. Maybe people, I don't know. It's just kind of a, a it's just kind of a confusion there to me. But, um. I just want to take the time and ask you guys a 
question, really, really quick question. So I kind of discovered. And that's me right there. Some <laughs> vibes going on behind the mm. something. So I'm going to try to get straight into it. So whenever I post a picture, a story, within like eight hours or something like that, everybody, 12, 13 people, come and click on it. But whenever it comes with a live video that I do for sometimes an hour or a half hour, also, within after I upload it, and within an hour or eight hours or whatever, I click back on it to check to see if anybody clicked on it. Nobody wants to. Nobody check it out. Nobody. And it's kind of weird because I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna uh, show you guys one more thing, and then I'm gonna just end this video right here. So this is my beautiful girlfriend named Faith. She is really, really beautiful. I I'm not gonna tell you how I met her. But she, we've been together for a year, and um, yeah, you know, when we first got into relationship and stuff, it to me it was difficult because I used to have problems in my past relationships and stuff. I don't, I don't think I would really recall as relationship. I just, I don't know. I think it was basically about, I don't know, intimacy, but it wasn't really like, I don't really know. But before I even met her, I was in a relationship with this other girl. Her name, I forgot her name. It's been a while, two years, almost two years. But, you know, I really thought she liked me. I really thought she loved me and stuff, you know. And she was the one who asked me out. And, you know, we, we, we dated, I think, only a couple of months. But to me, that was long. That was a long time. But I was still kind of, I think I was still kind of doing um, some things. I think kind of cheating a little bit. I think kind of cheating. But, it, you know... But still, it was still the longest relationship I ever, you know, been in. Um, you know, because the longest relationship I ever been in, uh, two weeks, two or a week at least. But that's about it. Um, yeah, so we've been together two months. You know, she liked me. She, you know, always say she loves me. We always been on the phone. We fell asleep on the phone. I think only once or twice. And, um, you know, I was telling her, you know, about this friend that I had uh, met back about, at the time, it was like four years ago. You know, we was friends. I think we used to date it. You know, you know, we was friends. You know, we was all, you know, I was friends with a lot of people because we used to live in a townhouse. And there was just a lot of people there. And, you know, I met a lot of, you know, amazing friends and stuff there. And he had a sister. Her name was Taylor. And then he had uh, two brothers. Name. We used to call him Big Baby. And the other one day, me and the stuff, and his name was Tyler. And, you know, he was a great friend, you know, and a, and a, and a boyfriend and stuff. But I knew at the time I, I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend. So it was just kind of like we had to sneak around. But, um, yeah, and, you know, I was telling her all day. And, you know, we got into an argument one time because you know, she was telling me how she was going to commit suicide because she was bipolar. You know, she, she gets angry really, really, really fast. And, um, you know, she was telling me, oh, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to pop pills and I'm just going to go right to sleep. And I just got extremely angry about that because I, I can't believe that she would tell me that right on the phone, right in my ear to the person that that loves you and cares about you. And, you know, you're supposed to love me. And you're sitting there telling me that you're going to pop pills. What about me? What about how you are you just going to leave? And not just me, but what about the people that cares about you in this world? Like you're taking your own life. It's not going to solve anything. You know, it's, it's not. You can't just take your life because something is hard. And, you know, sometimes it, it can be part of bipolar. You know, is it, you know, angry, anxiety, a lot of built up things in, inside people who, who's bipolar. But taking your life is not going to solve anything. What are you accomplishing when you take your life? Once you're dead, you can't get your life back. You're dead. And, and, and God would get mad about that because if you take your own life, it feels like you don't appreciate your life. You don't, you know, you, you Basically, you don't appreciate your life. You, it's, that's not the way to go to heaven and whatever. But, um, yeah, I got mad at her. I was extremely angry. I was this close to calling 911 because I did not know what she was going to do. Because I think one time she hung up on me and I was trying to call her back. She did not pick up. I kept trying and trying and trying over and over. 
and eventually she picked back right back up and stuff and i was just hollering i was like what the heck why did you hang up on me why would you sit there and tell me oh you're gonna go pop pills and, stuff and, and lay and lay to sleep and stuff and she was telling me why are you hollering at me why are you doing this why are you doing that because i'm angry you sitting up there telling me you're gonna commit suicide right in my freaking ear you're telling me this the person that you say you love and, and of course i loved her why would you sit there and tell me in my ear that you want to kill yourself? I did not understand that. I really don't understand that. And I was angry at her. And I could have I could have handled the situation in a different way. I could have. But I was getting emotional. You know, I was getting emotional because I I was angry and and, and, and sad at the same time because I I can't believe that she wanted to do that and you know and then I, but eventually I apologized to her for doing that and but I think she was still angry a little bit at me but I, I thought at least I thought she, you know she got over it and so I think a couple of days later she was telling me oh Kayla we have to talk or babe we have to talk and I was like, yeah, what's up? You know, what, what you want to talk about? And she said, I think we need to break up. And I was like, why? Why do why you want to break up? And she was telling me, at first she was telling me, you know, I, I just want to break up and whatever. But I was kept asking her, why would you want to break up with me? And she was telling me, oh, because every time her dad comes to her and talks to her about boy, she feels like she's lying to him. And I, it, it didn't really make no sense to me. More importantly, it, I feel like that's not, the only reason why she's breaking up with me. So I asked her, is there a more reason why you're breaking up with me? And she was saying, yes, it is. And I was saying, okay, what is it? And she said, I don't have to tell you S. I don't have to tell you crap. And, you know, I felt, you know, I felt some type of weight about it because you're breaking up with me and I deserve an explanation. And you're telling me you have more of a reason why you're doing breaking up with me. I deserve an explanation and stuff. And she was telling me, you know, believe what you think. I don't have to tell you nothing. And, you know, and at the, but at the time, I didn't believe that she wanted to break up with me because she did a prank like that on me before. You know, we back at the time, back at the day, you know, on my stomach at the time, we would play a lot of pranks on each other, you know, and just a whole bunch of pranks. And, and she and including that kind of prank and and she can't blame me for not believing that she wants to break up with me. So for weeks, I believe I didn't believe her until I think the third week. And that's when, you know, I believed her because that's when she started talking about me and not just talking about me. She was talking about my friend though, and my friend. Before we get into that, sorry, 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 sorry. OK, the friend part when I was telling her about, you know, Tyler and, you know, the friends that I. You know, used to be back four years ago. I was telling her that he died. He got he died in the shootout. Somebody had shot him, and you know, I told her that I just literally found out about this on on Facebook. One of my friends posted on his Facebook saying that, "Oh, rest in peace, Tyler." This that, and you know, and then I looked up on his Facebook page, and um, I seen these little angel wings on the back of his his back on his profile p picture. And I was like, you know, really, you know, I was like kind of sad about it because I can't believe that he died. I, I could not believe it. And I, t and I was telling her that. So now we can jump back to the ending part where the breakup and stuff and all that kind of bull crap and stuff. And, she, you know, angry and stuff. And, you know, telling her, saying that I deserve an explanation. You're going to tell me right now why you're breaking up with me. And she was telling me, you know, she was talking about me basically. Telling me that I re I represent a freaking trash can, a trash bin. And I was like, what? But what really, really pissed me off? Mm, 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 mm. This, I'm trying really hard not to cuss. I'm really trying. This girl sat there and said, Maybe you were the one who caused your friend's death. And I was like, what? I told you I haven't saw or talked to this dude for four years. Four years. And you're sitting up there telling me I was responsible for his death. This. 
from the office, about to cuss. This girl did not know what the heck she was talking about. She did not know who. I was like, you don't know who you who you messed with. Don't you dare sit there and tell me that I was responsible for his death. But I haven't seen this dude for four years. And I just found out about this a couple of days ago before that incident about when she was telling me that I caused his death and stuff. How dare her say that to me? Telling me that I was responsible for his death. And that kind of hurted me. It hurted me. I didn't understand that girl. And that's when. And that's how I found out that it was real. Because she would never talk to me like this. <laughs> and I'm not crying. It's just my, my nose and stuff. It's, uh, it's a little sensitive right now. But um. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. I don't understand why would she... Why would she say that? So, I left her. I, I stopped talking to her. Of course. And, you know, she blocked me. You know, and... Then, yeah, then I met this beautiful... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl right here, Faith. She is a she is an angel from heaven, a diamond. Been together for a year. We started dating April fifteenth, April fifteenth or sixteenth, and we've been together for a, a year and a month and a half, I think now. Month or two months, yeah, a year and two months. And she's a Sagittarius, and I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> and her birth birthday is on November twenty eighth. And my birthday is on November 20, November 11th. So, you know. <laughs> but she really special to me. She doesn't judge me. She doesn't just criticize me about how I look. You know, and that's who, that's that's a woman that I want in my life. A woman that appreciates for who I am. And appreciates my personality. Does not look at my looks and stuff. They look past that. And see how, how I am in the inside. Because... What you are on the inside is going to make how you look on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're if you're a nice person, you're sweet, you're respectful, you know, that makes your whole character looks beautiful. It, it wouldn't even matter how you look. You got what, what matters inside. That's what makes you really, really beautiful. And that's what makes her beautiful because she's really respectful. She really cares about me. And, you know, she doesn't take no bull crap from nobody. You know, and she's kind of like a reflection of me. She's funny. She got a humor, and that's the kind of woman I need in my life. A person who's a reflection of me. That's just like me. You know, and I'm really grateful to have her in life. We, you know, we went through some ups and downs, but that's how relationships are. You know, going through ups and downs and stuff. It's not... If you if you expecting for a relationship to be perfect, you're living in a fairy tale because relationships not perfect. You know it's easy to walk away when you're in a relationship. The easiest thing is to leave. The hardest thing to do is to stay and work things out. And that's why a lot of people out here are you know not with people, you know because of relationship problems and stuff, and they just walked away and stuff unless. You know, you had to deal with that for a long time. And, you you know, you're ready to walk away from the situation. You're ready to walk away from the relationship that's been continuing to bring you down for years and years and years. You know, you know, but we can work things out and stuff. And sometimes we, we barely even argue. We don't even argue like that. You know, and that's the that's the good thing. You know, that's the good part. That's what keeping us together. And I want to be with her for a long, long, long time. Really, really long time. Like, I don't care about... I, I do care about people, you know, my family and stuff. I'm talking about, you know, relationship-wise, like, wanting to be with somebody else. I don't care about that. I don't care about them. I care about her. She's the only one for me. But when we first got into a relationship, um, it was difficult for me. You know, it was really... It was extremely hard because I used to have... I had temptations, you know, because I was so used to talking to different people online about... You know, wanting to be with them and stuff, you know, all this kind of bull crap. And it was just, it was tempting to me, you know, but a couple months, two, three months went by and it slowly became easier and easier and easier and stuff. 
you know, and then a year went by, you know, I don't, I'm not even tempted no more by nobody, like nobody. You know, there this one girl had added me on Facebook. I forgot her name, but she was telling me, she was liking my pictures, hearting it up, you know, adding me as a friend. And, I, and as a nice person I am, I usually, people who add me as a friend, I usually, usually uh, add them back. It's nothing inappropriate or suspicious about that. You know, and, you know, she wanted to talk. We, we, we was talking and stuff, and I was telling her, you know, I'm in a relationship. I'm already with somebody that I love. And, you know, and I thought she heard me. I thought she, you know, saw the text and saw that, that that's what I said. You know, and she was telling me, you know, um, I think she said she was telling me she wants to be more than friends. And I was telling her, again, that, no, I don't, I, don't, I just want to be friends. You know, just be friends. I don't want nothing more with you. You know, I don't, I don't like you. I'm, I, I like somebody else. I love somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And she was like crying. I think she was crying and stuff and everything, telling me that I want us to be more than just friends. And I was like, no, like, and I just stopped texting her and whatnot. And I told my girlfriend about this, but she felt some way. I'm not gonna even get into all that. But um, it was that was the most hardest thing to do to turn down a woman. She's, I'm not even gonna lie. She was beautiful. You know, she was a beautiful. I, I didn't. You know, if I was single, then yeah, but she she was beautiful, but I'm already with somebody that's beautiful, and I, and I don't care about looks. Like I just said, I do not care about looks. It's about personality. You know, and I wanted to be with Faith, my love. That's what I wanted to be with. And that's why I was saying right here, isn't she beautiful or is she beautiful? Love of my life, my wife, and my ride or die. And then my friend, Caged Wolf, um, saying, I'm happy for you to heart or whatever. No, that's not heart. I think it's heart. No, I don't think that's a heart. I think, uh, and several other people liked it. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, art. Art that I did a while ago. My friend, right here in the background, me being stupid and silly. <laughs> this is when we was in gym, and then my friend wanted me to say this on my comment. I'm fading because <laughs> you know it looks like you're fading away. Look, it looked like I was fading away. And this is the art I did. If it loads up. It's taking about 3,000 years to load up. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Life is Strange. Um, part 2. <laughs> um, music and stuff. Best Friends for Life. Cole. Um, art. Art. Okay, after this one, then I'm going to, you know, end this video. Yes, sir. I have a confession. I drove your car to school today. <laughs> you what? I'm sorry. I really am. Son, I'm very disappointed in you. But as long as you're safe, that's all that really matters. Thanks, Dad. But one more thing. Yes, Dad? <laughs> Since I got... Yeah, I was playing LMFL, or LM... L M F A O. Right. Yeah, so you know, if you guys kind of enjoyed this video, I know I was talking a lot, you know, but I showed you guys some stuff on my my Instagram and stuff, and a lot of stuff that I was talking about was true, you know. I want you to guys. I want you guys. I'll, I'm also gonna post this on my gaming channel and my other channel, The Amazing Warrior Twenty Three. You know, because this is a lot of stuff that I'm open about, opening opening up about to people that, you know, that has been watching my channel for a long time, but doesn't really know that much about me. And, you know, and I know they're probably going to really appreciate that because I never really opened up to a lot of people except for people that I'm really, really close with, you know, and, um, you know, and, uh, yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed this little story, um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. You know, 
got over 237 subscribers, which is amazing. I really appreciate that. Let's get to 300. Um, you know, and uh, just and then comment down what y'all think of it. I really want to know what y'all comments and stuff is. I really want to know what what y'all think of the video. If y'all watch this whole video and stuff without pausing or without, I'm not gonna say pausing, but watching five seconds of it, just click out of the video. So I want y'all to watch. You know all of it i'm not forcing nobody but it would really mean a lot to me if you watch the whole video and stuff and learn a little bit about me especially you know if y'all never you know know anything about me so yeah um y'all have a good night or a good day wherever y'all at and um, i'll see you next time on just getting with you in uh the amazing warrior 23 peace